I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about sequence detectors. And a sequence detector is a, uh, a circuit, a state machine that detects a sequence of input. And in this case, I'm going to detect a sequence of inputs from just one input, but it could be a sequence of parallel inputs if you wanted it. Uh, become a lot more difficult to diagram out. Anyway, uh, let's do a state machine that detects the sequence 1101 going in this direction. So this would be the first bit received, the second, third, and fourth. And I guess that's backwards from how you'd normally look at it, but this is what we're going to do. So we need a, uh, a state to start with. And that's going to be this state. And we're going to be looking for a 1. So if we don't find a 1, if we find a 0, we're going to go back to this state. And you can tell just by looking at this, this is a more state machine. Um, if we detect a 1, then we will go to state B, which will also output 0. And we're looking for another one to take us to state C, which will output 0. So in this case, if we detected a 0, we need to go back to the beginning. Now we're looking for a 0 to take us to state D, which will output a 0. If we detect a 1, well, that's not what we're looking for, so we go back to the beginning. Or actually, what would be better? Would be to come to here. Because that gives us another chance. Let's say this, um, we're catching it in midstream. So this might be the beginning of... Uh, this sequence. Anyway, uh, we're going here. Uh, we've detected one, one, zero. Now we're looking for a one. If we detect a one, we get to here and we output a one. So that was a successful uh, detection. If we detected, oops. I drew it from the wrong, from the wrong state. Okay, if I detected a one, no. All right, there we go. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to be thinking and talking at the same time. All right. Anyway, uh, now. We've successfully detected it, but what if I want to detect another 1101 right after it? Well, I need to go here if I've detected a 1 after it. And if I've detected a 0, I need to go here. So that is a state machine that detects this sequence in a synchronous serial stream. Let's look at one more example here. This is going to be a state machine that detects two different sequences. So we'll be looking for 101 or 11. So we'll start off with state A, output of 0. If we detect 0, we go right back to state A. If we detect 1, because both of these start with 1, we advance forward to state B. From state B, if I detect 1, I'll get the state C, which will output a 1, indicating that I have detected this sequence right here. If I detect a 0, I move ahead to state D, because we may be detecting this. From state D, if I detect a 0, I'm going to jump back to here. 
And if I detect a 1, I'm going to go to E. And I'm outputting a 1 because I've detected that. Uh, so now I have um, gotten to my detections, but now I need to gracefully get back into the loop. So after detecting this, if I detect a 1, I'm going to go over to here. And if I detect a 0, I'm going to there. And what that will allow me to do, let's say I detect 1, 1, and I get to here. What if my stream looks like 1, 1, 1, 0, 1? Then I'd want to indicate that I detected it there and there, because this is one of the codes and this is the other. Uh, so this gives me a chance to get right in there. And the same thing with this. If I detect a 1, I'm going to go to state B. And if I detect a 0, I'm going to go up to state A. So there you go. That is a state machine that can detect uh, two different codes in a serial sequence. And uh, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, uh, you might want to take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel or go to robotbrigade.com where I have a master index of all my digital logic videos.